In this video, we are going to talk about the theory behind our simple traffic system. First, let me tell you a bit about our project. Uh, to create our system for placing road on our map in our simple city builder, uh, we have split the map into cells. You can see those square outlines uh, on the map and each square represents one a cell of our grid on our map and thanks to it we can run an A star algorithm to place a road from one point to another one depending on if we can place something on this cell of our grid and thanks to this system we can also find out if we place a house and a special structure such as shop we can find out if there is a road connecting those two structures and we can find it using our A star algorithm. We will be able to extract the information about the underlying prefab on this cell of the road that our car is traveling. So this will be the first step of our algorithm. Okay, so here we are. We want to extract a general path to reach this destination. So we are not going to access the road cells, which are shown in green color, that doesn't take part in our path finding to make our car drive from the start point, which is the blue house, towards the end point. And if we have this path, next, we would like to create a car AI that will allow the car to move towards a given point. We will give it a path as the list of vector three points, and it will have a, an arrive behavior. So if our car is in a close proximity to the point of interest, we will get another point of a, our list, and it will allow our car to steer towards this point until it reaches it in, and we are going to repeat this process until we reach the end of our list of points so let me show you how it would look like if we were to implement this system okay so our car would be spawned in the middle of the road in the center point of the cell and will travel through the center of our path until it reaches the destination which is the shop and this uses the center of each road cell to set as its destination and it steers using the rotation and driving forward to reach each point until it reaches its destination. So as you might uh, already see this doesn't allow us to steer through the uh, correct street lane be it right hand side or left hand side traffic system so we will need to improve this path to get a more granular one. So let's see how we would tackle it. The idea is simple. On our road prefabs, we are going to preset specific points, which I will call car markers. And those markers will distinguish where should a car travel towards. And since they will be placed on each road prefab, and we can run a simple algorithm to connect the closest road uh, markers, we, are, we will achieve this kind of graph, or rather two graphs uh, in this case that our car will be able to use to travel on the correct lane of our road. Now, we will have an issue of which of those two graphs to use, and if we add intersections such as three ways and four ways, uh, this will be more complex and it will be a single graph, a uh, single connected graph. In any case, uh, this gives us a more granular path. Let me show you how it will look like in our project. So this we will create in our project, you can see that those colorful dots are the car markers that I was talking about. For our corner, we have more markers to make our car stick more precisely to the lane of our road. And those have created two graphs. And the last remaining aspect of us being able to use this is to decide which lane should our car use. So basically, which, is, uh, which of those car markers is the start point uh, and which is the endpoint, so that we can choose a specific graph. Now, why is this important? Now, I have added to our graph a four way street, and you can see that now our graph is a bit more complex. It has different connections to allow our cars to travel in different directions, and now we will have to run an A star algorithm to find the shortest path between the endpoint and the start point, so that the car can extract only part of this graph and set it as its path. So this is why we need to extract the start and end point. So let's talk about how we are going to find those. Okay. 
So to find the start and end markers on our road prefabs, we are going to determine in which direction we are moving. Now for the end road prefab, so the prefab that allows only to travel in one direction, it is quite straightforward because we can manually set this one point uh, on the lane that we set as the default lane for traveling to the right or forward rather. So in uh, our case it will be right hand side traffic. We can set the point on the right lane as the point uh, that is outgoing from this road cell and the point on the left lane it will be the incoming lane. So if we are starting from this prefab, we are going to access the right point, so the red point, the red marker. And if this is the end point, we are going to simply get the blue marker. Now for other road prefabs, such as straight road, a corner, a three-way and four-way, so the intersections, it will be a bit different. But still, we are going to be able to find out which point should we set as the starting point depending on what is the direction of the movement and what is the rotation of our road prefab. We are going to discuss this in more detail when we are adding those markers to our road prefabs. In any case, we can assume that we have selected the start and end point, we have run an A-star algorithm and we have found our correct path that our car will use to travel through the correct lane. So let me show you how it would look like. Here we can see that our car is traveling through a selected path on a single lane. It is traveling a bit slower, so it can uh, go around corners in a decent fashion, and it has arrived towards its destination. And the blue path that you can see that is debugged uh, above the street is the path that the ASTAR algorithm has found using the graph that we have created uh, for using our car markers. So this was the uh, path taken by this car to reach its destination. So it looks like we have our AI for the car set, but there is one issue. Here we have three houses and an intersection. So what happens if we spawn three cars that are reaching the same intersection? We need to have a way to decide which car goes first, which car goes second, and which car goes last. And in addition to that, if we spawn a car and you spawn another car, we need to prevent those cars colliding with each other by making sure that they stop behind each other before they are able to move. And we are going to make sure that our intersection has something called a smart road script that will direct the movement. Okay? So this will not be an elaborate system. The smart road object, or rather a script, will direct the movement of our cars depending on the queue so the FIFO structure first in first out, so who comes first on this intersection will go first while the rest of the cars are waiting. Where the when the first car goes away, the second car will run and then the third car. Now of course, after implementing this simple solution, you can extend the logic behind this algorithm to implement some more sophisticated version of it or maybe even a traffic lights system. Now, last thing that we will need to do, since we already have pedestrians in our city builder, is we are going to need to account what happens when the pedestrian wants to cross the street. Now, the logic behind this will again be smart crosswalks, and we are going to make sure that the pedestrian waits until the car leaves the intersection, and then if there is a pedestrian waiting, the other cars that might be waiting at the intersection will wait and let the pedestrian cross the crosswalks and every pedestrian that is incoming while this one is traveling through the crosswalks will also travel through crosswalks until there are no more pedestrians waiting to cross this road. And after every pedestrian has left the road, the other cars will start driving. And this is it, this is the main logic that we will implement in this tutorial. In the next video, we are going to prepare our project by downloading the package from the GitHub repository so that you can follow along with me implementing those steps that we will need to create our traffic uh, system. Now, the first step is covered in the Simple City Builder tutorial, so I encourage you to check it out if you are not sure about this grid system and ASTAR algorithm, but the rest of the steps we are going to cover and I'm going to explain them in more details when we reach those videos. I hope you are enjoying this tutorial so far, see you in the next video.